Sometimes we football fans just wish that certain celebrities would leave our clubs alone because we don't know how they do it, but they just always somehow manage to jinx the club. On hearing this, a picture of Drake probably popped up in your head. So we'll start with him. There's a reason the Drake curse is a thing. Every football club this man touches turns to ashes. For real. He's jinxed a number of different clubs in Europe, including Dortmund, City, PSG and Arsenal. The most recent one came this season in El Clasico. Because of their deal with Spotify, Barcelona players had to wear jerseys with Drake's OVO symbol on them for the Clasico match against Real Madrid, and it's like they were doomed from the start. On top of that, Drake went ahead to bet $600,000 on Barcelona winning that game. So you could say the curse had a two-factor authentication. Barcelona, who hadn't lost a single La Liga game at that time, ended up losing 3-1 to Madrid. The next three Clasicos after that in the same season, Barcelona won them all. You know why? No Drake involvement or affiliation. The Drake curse is real, guys. And if you want to know just how potent it is, go check out any of these two videos. This man really brought down Anthony Joshua and Serena Williams all by himself. Crazy. There are two more huge stars of American entertainment who have jinxed European football clubs. We'll get to them, but right now, we want to look at this Englishman who has been jinxing English teams for the longest. So Mick Jagger is a proper musical icon. He's one of the founding members as well as the lead vocalist of one of the biggest rock bands in the UK and the world at large, the Rolling Stones. But while he's recognised as a legend in England, English folks want him to always stay far away from the national team. In the 1998 World Cup in France, he was present when England got knocked out by Argentina on penalties. That was the day that David Beckham received that infamous red card, which turned him into a national villain. Fast forward to 2010, and Mick decided to spread the curse to other countries. He declared his support for Brazil, the USA, and of course, England going into the tournament. And voila, none of his teams were able to make it past the quarterfinals. As a matter of fact, he even watched all of them get knocked out live. The Brazilians nicknamed him Pé Frio, which translates to cold foot in English. It's used to refer to people who bring bad luck. Safe to say that Mick Jagger is known in different parts of the world for more than just his music. Now, straight to someone known all across the world for his movies. Sylvester Stallone is a legend when it comes to making films, and he's definitely respected everywhere he goes. But we're pretty sure Evertonians want him to stay far away from their club. Back in 2007, he came out and paraded himself as a proud Everton fan. And what happened next? They lost to Reading. Eight years later, the story was the same. Even with his halftime message, Everton still couldn't win against West Brom. We're pretty sure Sylvester Stallone's relationship with Everton fans has remained rocky ever since. Now, more recently, we've seen Kim Kardashian try to get more invested in European football. It seems her son is really into the sport, so she's been taking him on a tour. But every team who has welcomed Kim Kardashian has ended up suffering for it. First of all, she was right there in the stadium and even recording on her phone when Arsenal got knocked out by Sporting in the Europa League, despite being the better team on the night and even getting the first goal of the game. After that, she visited the PSG home stadium and even took pictures beside the pitch before the game. What happened next? PSG lost the game 2-0. To show you how much of a shock that was, PSG had not lost a league game at home in 35 games stretching all the way back to 2021. It also snapped Messi's invincible Liga 1 home record. The seven-time Ballon d'Or winner had not lost a single home league game in France until Kim Kardashian showed up. Let's also just put it out there that Kim once linked up with Deli Alley and even got her kids to take pictures with him. And now we all know what's up with Deli Alley. Someone please go delete Kim Kardashian's phone number from Saka's phone ASAP. Now let's round it off with the funniest of the bunch. You might not know Yuri Geller, but we promise you you're going to laugh your hats off when you hear this. So Yuri is basically a magician and an illusionist. Sounds like a good person to have on your team, right? 
right? When you're losing, he can just do some quick magic and get you guys a late goal. And you know what? He actually tried to use his magic tricks to influence a game way back, but it horribly failed. Back in 1997, Exeter City really needed to win their final game of the season. So Yuri stepped in and placed some energy-infused crystal balls behind the goalposts on the pitch. Those balls were supposed to help Exeter win the game, but they ended up losing. Now, they didn't just lose, they lost 5-1. It's one thing for your magic to fail, but for it to fail like that, your license has to be revoked. Five years after that, Yuri bought the club and managed to bring Michael Jackson, the most famous human being on the planet at that time, to the club's home ground. Well, it was the least he could do after the embarrassment from 97. But guess what? In just his first year in charge, the club got relegated from the Football League. Now come on, Yuri, just come on. Are there more celebrities who've been a curse to football teams? Let us know their names and the clubs they've jinxed in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on any new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.